Write the following intervals below each of the given notes. The first interval is a major sixth. An interval of a sixth below E will be a G note. We will solve it now in the key of G major as this is our lower note. The sixth note in the key of G major is E natural, which is what we have here, which is a major six interval. And this is what the question asks, so we don't have to write anything else here. Now we need to invert the above intervals in the bass clef. Notice the clef change. Name the inversions. I will start with an E note in the bass clef. And then I will write the G note above that E note. So in the bass clef this will be here. The size of this interval is a third. And then I will solve this in the key of E major. The third note of E major should be a G sharp, which would make it a major third. Or, however, here we have G natural, which is a semitone lower, making this interval smaller by a semitone. So this is a minor third interval. The next interval is a minor tenth. This is a compound interval consisting of an octave and a minor third. So I will first solve it as a minor third interval. And a third below C flat will be an A note. Now I will solve this in the key of A major as this is our lower note here. In the key of A major the th third note is C sharp which is a major third. Here we have C flat, which is two semitones lower than C sharp. Therefore, this interval is a diminished third. We need to make it a minor third. That means we need to enlarge this interval by a semitone. That means I need to add an A flat here in order to lower this note and enlarge this interval by a semitone. Now we have a minor third. To make it a minor tenth, I will transpose this A flat note down an octave. And then I can erase the unnecessary information. To invert it, I will start with C flat in the bass clef. And then I will move A flat above C flat. So the first A flat above C flat in the bass clef is here. Compound intervals will always be simple intervals after their inversion. The size of this interval is a sixth. We will solve this in the key of C flat major. The sixth note in the key of C flat major is A flat, which is what we have here. Therefore, this is a major six interval. The next interval is an augmented fifth. A fifth below D will be a G note. We will solve it in the key of G major. The fifth note of G major is D natural. Therefore, right now, this is a perfect fifth interval. To make it augmented, we have to enlarge it and for this, we need to lower the bottom note by a semitone to make this interval larger. That will be a G flat. To invert this, I will start with the D note in the bass clef. And then I will bring G flat above D, which will be this G flat note here. The size of this interval is a fourth. In the key of D major, the fourth note is G natural, which would make it a perfect fourth interval. However, here we have G flat, which is a semitone lower, making this interval smaller by a semitone, therefore this being a diminished fourth. Next interval is a perfect twelfth, again another compound interval which is an octave and a fifth. 
So first I will solve this as a perfect fifth. A fifth below A flat will be a D note. I will solve it in the key of D major. The fifth note of D major is A natural, but here we have A flat. Therefore, right now this is a diminished fifth. To make it perfect, I will need to make this interval larger by a semitone. Therefore, I need to lower the bottom note by a semitone. And I will use a flat for that. Now, to make it a perfect 12 instead of perfect fifth interval, I will need to bring this note down an octave. And then I can raise the perfect fifth interval. To invert this, I will start with A flat in the bass clef. And then I will bring D flat above A flat. So the first D flat above A flat will be here. The size of this interval is a fourth. Now I will solve it in the key of A flat major. The fourth note is D flat in the key of A flat major, therefore this is a perfect fourth. The last interval is a diminished fourth. An interval of a fourth below B flat will be an F note. In the key of F major, the fourth note is B flat. So right now, at this state, this is a perfect fourth. We need to make this interval diminished fourth meaning we have to make this interval smaller by a semitone. Therefore, we need to raise the bottom note by a semitone using an F sharp. To invert this, I will start with a B flat in the bass clef. And then I will write an F sharp above B flat. The size of this interval is a fifth. In the key of B flat major, the fifth note is F natural, which would make it a perfect fifth interval. However, here we have F sharp, which makes this interval larger by a semitone. Therefore, this is an augmented fifth. Now, to make a final verification, whether we done all the inversions correctly, we will check according to the formula where a major interval should become minor after inversion and vice versa, augmented should become diminished and vice versa, and perfect should remain perfect after the inversion. So here we have a major interval should become minor correct minor should become major that's correct augmented should become diminished that's correct perfect should remain perfect that's correct diminished should become augmented that is correct and also we'll use the formula where the original interval plus its inversion the sum of those sizes should be a nine so six plus three equals nine ten which is a third 3 plus 6 equals 9, 5 plus 4 equals 9, 12, which is a fifth, 5 plus 4 equals 9, 4 plus 5 equals 9.